getting straight into it. No bullshit. If you haven't already, like, subscribe, and hit the notification. You're bugging. All right, so I'm gonna start with this preset called Morin Kerr Solo Sus Trem. That's a long ass name. It sounds like this. And we're gonna go for that classic little baby chord progression, but we're gonna sauce it up and make sure that we execute this sample really, really well. And then I'm gonna start to change the bass line by moving this note down, but it doesn't fucking have any sound. So I'm just gonna move this up an octave. So let's see what that sounds like. And then we can just continue going down. Fire. Because we have this exact pattern going on over and over and over again, I'm going to delete this note. Let's see what that sounds like. That's fire. And then I kind of want to do some sort of a run up over here. Control L. That works. It sounds cool, but I feel like it's a little bit dry. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna add a delay three stock plugin. That's a little bit too much. I'm also going to take the cutoff knob down so that the, the delay is more muffled, if you can hear it. All right, so I went back into the Jade Ethnic Orchestra. Like I said, this bank is fire. I'm still looking for new banks. Let me know down below. Look through some of these pads. These pads are like, oh, D cinematic. Like, take a listen to this. Like, that's fire as fuck. I'm just gonna take the bass line, control L, so that the entire pad rings out the whole time. Let's see what this sounds like. That's fire. And what I actually like about these pads is that there's a percussive element that you can actually put the volume up or put the volume down. So if I put the percussive element all the way up, you get like this crazy ass crash in there. So I'm gonna go into my drum kit, go into the one shots, get a bass. And I'm gonna copy the same thing, really give that bass some more body. Actually just gonna cut off some of it right there. It still needs more, I don't know. It's just not full enough. All right, so actually I'm gonna take the pad and I'm gonna move it an octave up because I feel like up here, that high end cuts through the mix way better. Take a listen. All right, so I found a lead called Zonggu N Ensemble Sus Trim. Oh, it sounds like this. So I'm thinking we can go sound like. Something like that. Actually, let me put y'all onto some sauce right now. So I'm just gonna play this. I'm gonna sing the lead idea that I have in my head. And then we're gonna convert that to MIDI. All right, I just sounded so crazy just to show y'all this little sauce right here, right? I'm gonna right click this edit and pitch corrector. I'm gonna center all of the notes, variation, take that all the way down to zero. And then I'm gonna drag this back in. So it kind of fixes all the notes a little bit. So now all you gotta do to turn this into MIDI is edit in audio editor, go to tools, go to convert to score and dump to piano roll. And now we literally have the notes that we sung. So I'm gonna copy this. I'm gonna paste it into contact and then we can kind of adjust the notes after the fact. So this is what we have so far. Let's see what it sounds like with the loop. Okay, that sounds shitty, but all you gotta do is adjust the notes, right? Psst, right there, there you go. That's that's see, that's what I was trying. That's what I was trying to do. Ooh, hold on, hold on, hold on. This shit about to sound crazy, bro. And then we can do like a a little like a little and I actually want to make all these notes really really short man I'm just gonna let this one kind of ride out I don't know if it's gonna stop it or not but let's see what that sounds like that's 
That's kind of fire. There we go. Woo! And then we go. There, yes. Hmm. My God. Maybe uh, that note can come in a little earlier. And then a little. Oh my. So one issue, I like the lead. I think the lead is fucking fire, but I feel like it's uh, kind of, I feel like it's not mixing well with the rest of the sound. So I'm actually just gonna go into this little tune knob and turn this up 1200 cents and it's gonna turn it up an octave and it should cut through a lot better. Oh. Oh my God, bro. For some reason, I always feel like a loop is not done if it don't have vocals in it. I'm gonna go into, let's see, distant voices. All right, so I found this bank called Forevermore and there's a couple of uh, fire, you know, kind of really, really long drawn out uh, female voices. Sounds like, nah. I'm just gonna repeat that to be honest. Mm -hmm. And then I just wanna find one more note. There we go. This is beautiful. A lot of people fuck up arranging their sample. I know mad loop makers that be like, oh nah, like the way that this part transitions into this part. Gotta put the most interesting part in the first five seconds, bro. You know how fast people go through loops? Every single four, what's this, four bars, there's something completely new. It's not necessarily new, it's just transposed up an octave or down an octave. And this hi-hat midi's already in a one-third rhythm, so we can add a clap real quick. I love adding this snare on top of this clap, and especially when you separate it, when you're arranging the drums, that layer just kind of gives it more energy. Now for the 808s, y'all know how these 808s go, so we kind of need to wild out just a little bit. All right, so we need to end on an F. So what if we just move these notes down like this? Ooh, there we go. This needs to be lower. Yes, sir. That's fire right there. We can kind of lead into this 808 over here by playing with the velocities down here. There we go. I just need to add a kick. Add that kick for the second part of the hook, bro. Jesus Christ. Smart. This is how you know the beat is fire if the if the arrangement is fire. Let's go and get a little baby acapella from YouTube. This is, a, is this like a good quality version? It's on the block, so no, they never gotta get a job. YouTube MP3. See, y'all taking my information? What's going on? Let's just make sure that everything is timed up real quick. We also have to re-pitch the sample and the drums to the to the vocals. Why the fuck they put my on the block? 
block. Okay, obviously the wrong key. Let's see. Pitch the sample one semitone lower. If you haven't already liked and hit the subscribe button, you're fucking bugging, bro. I just made a better version of okay. Take a listen. Let me know what you think down in the comments. I'm out of here. Gang gang. Why the fuck they put my business on the block? Sister know they never gotta get a job. Brody said he'd rather spend shit than rock. Damn, dawg. He ain't playing, dawg. That's your plan, dawg. That's your man, dawg. Fuck both of them, I want them all gone. Shit been getting shaky, I'm staying where I'm safe in. Couple spots, I don't know where I stay at. Why would you play it? You know where I'm played it. Flipping words when you know I ain't said it. I've been good, so I'm guessing it's payback. Smoking woods in the back of the Maybach. I'm the hero, so they gotta fake that. Hit the road, where the fuck is my kid back? I'm on the other one. Bought another car, then another one. Bank account like I just want a settlement. Sip and walk on my dick, they do medicine. Pockets on elephant lawn. I get two pretty women to come kick it with me. Yeah, the pen, I'll go have them or not. I go on any nigga city, bunch of killers with me. Everybody got a ride. Swear I'm not out for I fall off. That drink talk, oh yeah. It's your front cross and I pop out and I run ATL. When I get old, I might have back problems. These Cuban links big as hell. I done fuck M's up with these lawyers trying to get my niggas out of